Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. It's been far too long. I haven't put out a video in quite a while and I need to uh, start getting new content out there. Uh, one of the things I've been doing a lot in the last couple of months is traveling around the country and training a lot of new Fusion users. And one of the things I come across is I see new users struggle with the concept of projecting geometry inside of Fusion. And projecting geometry inside of Fusion is something you're going to do quite often. And in fact, you're probably doing it a lot right now and aren't even aware that you are doing it. To show you what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch and I'm going to put it on this front face. Once I create that sketch on the front face, it's maybe a little difficult to see right here, but um, some of the area on my screen is more of a golden color. If I turn the bodies folder off, here you can see what I mean. There's that plane and it happens to, to be a copy of that face that I clicked on. What the Fusion developers are doing is there's a setting so that when you start a new sketch and click on a face, it's automatically projecting all the edges of that sketch plane, if there are any, on sketch creation. We can take a look at a different video. I'll link to it in a card that will show you how to go through and turn this off if you want to. So generally when you click on by default a face, Fusion's automatically projecting all the edges in. And this can be uh, beneficial and this can maybe cause some issues. Here there's a lot of faces on here and if I just wanted to locate a feature from this edge and this edge, I project a lot of things that I don't need. So if I want to, I can drag a window around everything and delete it. If I turn my bodies back on, I can go into the sketch menu and find the project and include and I'm, I'm going to choose the project option and a very handy shortcut in Fusion is to use the P for project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that P for project and uh, now I can start clicking on different pieces of geometry that I want. You'll see that we have a selection filter. We can choose specified entities or we can project the bounds of the entity itself. So I'm on specified entities. This would allow me to go and choose certain edges or other features. I'll just undo those two choices. Or I can kind of duplicate what Fusion is doing by going to the project command and just clicking that entire face. Notice we see the exact same edges that Fusion automatically projected, but this time they're magenta, letting me know that I, I can more visibly see what I projected. So let's go ahead and hit OK. I wanted to show you one more example. Uh, I'm just going to undo that, and I'm going to stop this sketch. Inside of this part, I've created a work plane that lies exactly on that outer face. This time, if I were to create a sketch and choose that face, Notice that when I shut off the bodies, that I don't get any of that projection. So because I chose the face of the work plane, it doesn't understand that there's any geometry faces there to reference. So now if I turn my bodies folder back on, I could do my P for project, and then I can click on different edges that I want to reference in exactly as if I clicked on the face. So just wanted to kind of show the difference how Fusion reacts versus clicking on a face uh, as opposed to clicking on a plane. Go ahead and hit OK and stop the sketch. And I have some other examples here. So let's go over into this file for a second. So what is projecting geometry? Um, sometimes we need to reference edges on the same sketch plane that we're working on. Sometimes we might create an offset plane or a different face of a part or a different component that we're working on. So there I just drug off an offset plane. Now uh, what I want to do is create a sketch and I'm just going to go ahead and click on that face. If I hit my P for project again, remember you can find this under the sketch menu under project. As I click on different entities, let me go to an isometric view so you can see a little bit better what's going to go on. That entity is being projected onto the active sketch plane that I chose. So you can almost think of a really powerful flashlight being shown on the back of this part. And the shadows of the part are projecting onto the plane that I'm working on. So whatever I click on will appear on that plane. What can you project? You can project almost anything that's an entity. So you've seen me projecting edges. Here's a work plane. I can project that work plane into my sketch. There's a work point right there. Notice I can project that work point in there. And I can also go to my origin folder and project, uh, we can project axes in and we can project uh, the origin point. There's all kinds of things that we can project into our sketches that will be helpful for different designs that we do. So I've kind of shown you the example of projecting a specified entity. 
let's go over to look at a different type of intersection type. So here I want to go and choose the sketch command, project include, and this time I'm going to choose the intersect option. And you can see I've ha I have a work plane that's created through this part. If I click on that work plane, uh, if I go and choose selected entities, as I click, I get the intersection of where that work plane intersects the part. If I were to just use the project option, it's going to give me the bounds of the part instead. Uh, so the other option we could do there, instead of projecting just the specified entities, I could do my sketch, project include, and choose intersection again. And this time I could choose uh, the plane that I want to click on. So I got to go turn that plane back on. I'm going to click on that face. I guess I'm already on it. So we're going to choose bodies. and I'm going to click on that body. And now it projects the outer portion of the body anywhere where it intersects with that plane. So that's another commonly used option that you might find in Fusion that you want to use. If I take a step back, uh, let me stop this sketch. I'm going to delete this sketch. I'm going to turn that plane back on and let me put one more sketch on this face. So I'm going to say sketch, create sketch on this face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do P for project and this time I'm going to specify the entire body. So all I have to do is click on that body and every inside and outside edge is projected at one time by using the uh, bodies option. So there are a couple different options inside of Fusion you're going to use for projecting geometry. The reason we project things in often is we want to reference them to dimension other features from or maybe to reuse them as uh, solid modeling examples like extrude, revolve, loft, things like that. So I hope that helps to clear up a little bit of projecting geometry. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, in a later time, we'll cover some other projection options, the include 3D geometry, project a surface, and intersection curve options, so you can see what those projection options do. But for the most part, you're going to find that these two projection options are going to be your bread and butter for projecting geometry inside of Fusion 360. Thanks for watching. If you have any com comments, leave them below. Any questions, whatever it might be. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking with me, even though it's been uh, quite a while since I got a video up, and hopefully this one is helpful.